So I'm putting those together here. So it goes small bolts, but I don't have those here with me right now. So I use zip ties for now. I'm gonna replace those on the final assembly when that day comes. So basically this uh, light contains of, that's the mainframe. Then that's the cheap LED strip. The end, I made those slots on either end where the ends are held in kind of tight. And the wire goes through one of those ends as well. And on the final assembly, I'm also going to remove this. Uh, I'm going to use this tape part to hold it in place better. But for now, that doesn't matter. Actually, this is on my way slightly. And yeah, that's like so. And then there is this inner frame, which Uh, presses the LED strip nicely into its shape. And as I said, here should go small bolts, but I don't have those right now. So, zip ties will have to do. And those frames are held in with three little nuts. The wire goes through that hole here. daytime running lights or whatever uh, also installed right now personally I think they look quite rad but I am building this thing for myself so it wouldn't make sense building something that I don't like we are gonna install some more lights here I have some we have one longer two shorter ones like this the longer one goes in the middle and those will go come somewhere here in the corner more and obviously I need to change my clothes now we can rock mate seems like I've lost my favorite marker Definitely 
So I have a game plan now. I am not gonna mount those lights just like that onto the sheet metal there. The reason why first is that it is too easy. Second, it's too flimsy. Of course I could do reinforcements from underneath and it would be quite sturdy. But that would not protect it from any tree branches and stuff like that. So the only way to go is to make a metal frame uh, to protect those lights. So I can start fabricating the frame. I'm gonna use this hexagonal metal bar to make that frame. I will put you guys on time lapse and we will start working. Now I've made those tabs, all bent, and the holes are also drilled. Those will be the mounting points for my lights. So I welded this temporary tab here. Now I'm gonna attempt to weld that into position on the vehicle so I can start making the mounts for this light bar frame. I'm seriously hoping that this will even reach the way I doesn't. Make it from here. I think we can make it. But it is just barely. Yes, I like it. So now I can continue on making plates here. Those will attach to the Cab roof here. I have those brackets welded into the light bars frame and I attach those to the cab roof with bolts. And I welded in those nuts to the other side so those will serve as captive nuts. It will make the removal and installation of this light bar system a little bit easier. So, but there is a lot more to do. I'm gonna do this and we will see you guys in a bit.
those slots I got here to make the bending easier. Now I got this light bar unit all tacked together and now I'm gonna fully weld this. This is kind of te temporary paint, but I figure it's easier for me to paint it now so that it wouldn't rust and I don't have to clean the rust later on. Just scuff it, um, scuff it and I can apply another coat of paint or whatever I decide since it's a separate part so yeah it is reasonable to do it so.
See you in the next one, guys, where I'll be making the rare lights. So, so till next time, friends.